Nat 20. Welcome back to A Deal with Demons. In our previous episode, our adventurers explored more of the second section of the depth depths that they have found. They end up finding a deserted ghost town of a Durger village. They end up fighting some shadows, and they found a tiefling girl just sitting on a ledge in the depths, named Tal. And in this episode, uh, Tony was unable to be here for this episode, same with uh, Zach, but we now have uh, Sebastian here as well, as well as our Hi. guest, Drew, who How plays Tal. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Tal. <laughs> so, where we last left off, our adventures had just killed all of the shadows that were in this cavernous room that everyone's in right now, and there's this bright green light shining all throughout this cavern that doesn't really seem to have one specific place it's originating from, it just seems to be from everywhere. I want to investigate to find and see if there's a source. Okay, uh, just roll investigation or arcana. Use my wind dice. Or arcana. Ah, arcana it is that fucking sick. I'm good at insight. <laughs> or investigation. <laughs> Just roll no. That's my thing. And it's, you have advantage on a kind of check too because of your neck. I do. I need it. 14. 14. <laughs> um, you sense that this is definitely magical in origin, but it seems to be all around magical. Like, all throughout the room instead of just one specific area. Is it just blinding light? Or? Pretty much, yeah. Blinding, almost blinding green light. And it's especially blinding for you guys since you've been in the depths in this utter darkness this entire time. Shama, okay. We can still see the way to go, though, yeah. right? Yeah, okay. I just, uh, should we just keep going, then, back towards the uh, exit? I mean... There's still a hole in the tunnel we haven't explored yet. And I don't see any mist, nothing to be really scared of. Yeah, whatever it takes to get out of here. So you're leaving this cavern? Yeah, I, I okay. mean, if we can't figure out what it is, I mean, let's just keep going. Okay. There's no point in getting ourselves. Yeah, we'll just follow the path. Okay, so you go through this passageway and you're back in this large cavern with slag tights coming from the roof and slag mites coming from the... Floor. Uh, yeah, because C clings to the ceiling. Yeah. M, like, mites that mur- burrow and shit, I guess. And, again, this room is kind of eerily silent. You don't hear any other activity in the room besides your footsteps. And every once in a while you might hear the something, some noise coming from the lake that's in the passageway north of here. So where is this? This oh, is right here. Oh, so it's the big dome. Yeah. Okay. And this is about a 200 foot a wide circular cavern with a very high, very high roof. I We're think Tal is going to pull out her Bowie knives again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can anyone not not at all, <laughs> please cast out this light? <laughs> Actually, I'm going so to... after you left this room, there's no more of the light. Like it's only in the one room. I don't like that room. But we can't see super good again? Uh, it's still in darkness, really. So okay. you can see it around you if you have dark vision. I and think we all have the dark vision. Dreams. Dreams, which all of you have. Mm, yes. You never told me what that sword said, did you? No, oh, no. You just said that yeah, that was right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Then I don't pull out Lightbringer. Okay. I'm assuming it would have been very handy. <laughs> I just light a torch. Okay. Again, you don't see any bats or methods or anything like that in this area. Okay. I'm going to make my way down to that bottom path then. Okay. The one that I, I checked out earlier. Yeah. That I didn't go down. Uh, yeah, I'll do the same. Okay. So this passageway has multiple twists and turns and winds this way and that way and this way and that way. Some parts of it are wider than the other. Then it gets into tight sections. And then it gets to one section where you actually have, would have to, like, Duck down to get through. And eventually, after about 10, maybe 20 minutes, you get to this, uh, this new cavern, which is about 40, maybe 50 feet wide. And again, it's somewhat circular. You see it, a few, uh, roll perception checks actually. Nine. 24. 
Four. Uh, so Sad. all that you, that two of you notice is that it look you see a few dead skeletons of large beings in this room, two of them, and they're completely devoid of any flesh. And then what the rest of you can also see, you see that, and you see that you see a nest kind of in the very edge of the room, and you see a l- very large egg lying in this nest on the cave floor. But we don't see anything else? Just the nest and egg and a few dead bodies? There's a few other things. Oh, oh, sorry. You see one oh, large egg is there, and then you see a egg that looks like it had been hatched, so it is, like, in pieces. And that's about ten feet away from the other egg, and you also see a few... A few uh, tunnels up in the higher sections of this room. I wonder what happened to these poor souls. <laughs> there could be fucking anything in here, man. Me, me. So there's one hashtag and one unhashtag. Yeah. Here, I'm gonna sneak up. I'm gonna see if I can recognize How it. How big are the eggs? Okay. Uh, they're probably about, I'd say, a foot. In diameter. Yeah, I'm gonna stealth my way to the to, to the hatched one. Okay. What are you two doing? Please. Come here. No, I'm gonna look at the hatched one. Come here. Come here. What are you two one. doing? Come here. Go to the hatched one. Why? Just come here. I want to see what hatched. There's nothing in that one. I know, but I can examine the entire egg and the inside and out. Oh, just come here first. I don't whip out my staff. I okay. go to the the non hatched one oh, for some give reason. Me a bag of holding. No. Open your bag of holding. <laughs> I'm sorry, why? We're you... taking this with us. Why? Will it even what? fit? My bag of holding isn't a foot long. It's a bag, man. Yeah, it, it won't fit. You probably can't get it through. Get it in. <laughs> what are you two doing over there? <coughs> hey, remember when I said shh? Yeah, I meant shut it. I, I actually meant it. I wasn't being sassy. I actually meant shut up. Uh, but why? And you guys have now seen team. what they see to you. Because... They're like crowding around the It eggs. is very clear that something birthed oh, these eggs the because they don't grow from the ground and uh, there are tunnels in the ceiling, which tells me. Eggs, it's... you fucking eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but there's a bunch of tunnels up in the ceiling, which means anything could come out at any moment and scurry through and fucking eat us. So shut the fuck up! <laughs> How big is the nest would probably be about 10 feet in diameter. Yeah, I mean, if it had like. A foot big egg. I'm going to keep all my eyes on those holes. Okay, yeah. I'm going Staff to make my point. way to the hatched egg again. See if I can recognize what it is. Okay, uh, roll a... Nature? I'd say either nature or survival. Nature it is. Uh, plus four. So. Uh, Thirteen. You're not entirely sure what these eggs are. Okay, I'm going to make my way back to the, the group then. Okay. And be like... Perhaps we should go. That would probably be best. Why I should I just keep on moving? Yeah, I'd rather not meddle with a possible monster. <laughs> no, I'm feeling very confident lately. Yeah, I see me kill all three of those shadows. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, good job. Yeah, thank you, Brad. Thank you. So, and should... you also see that there are tons of bones in this room. So there are some of uh, some kind of beings that are very large, and then there are also some like more humanoid. Uh, skeletons too that have the meat completely sucked free of the bones. That's about our size. It is horrifying. Let's Time. steal the egg and go. Time to get, we're not taking the egg. Why the hell not? Because what happens if it hatches while we're carrying it and we'll, then like something we'll comes out and like, something. <laughs> it's like... That's giving me Jurassic Park vibes when they stole the Velociraptor eggs. And look at how that went. It was great. They had baby Velociraptors. <laughs> no, it, was it, was it was horrible. <laughs> they murdered everyone. No, dinosaurs killed everybody. Not everybody. Most of them. Otherwise, it wouldn't be able to tell the Spare story. no expense. <laughs> Great movie. <laughs> so you guys are leaving this cover? Yes. yes. We, we, take the egg. we depart. We yeah. Nope. You take the egg? We should take the egg. It's a big egg. Can you even carry it? How heavy is the it's egg? Still, it's only a foot wide. It'd probably be... Doesn't mean it's not heavy. It's 15. 15 pounds. It's oh, terrible. it's fine. <laughs> we should take it. We should take it. I think an ostrich egg is like one pound. And that's pretty small compared to that. A what egg? An ostrich egg. Oh, yeah. So times that by, like, eight. Yeah. I don't know. 
15 pounds sounds fair. Uh, if you want to carry it, you can carry it, but I'm going to help you carry it. Okay, but you have to help me fight when it's mom comes looking for us. No way, man. You're on your own, dude. You shouldn't have picked up that egg. Well, it was a bit. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's go. Fucking God, bro. Let's fucking go. We can sell it for good money. Where? We're in the depths. <laughs> Not for, well, we're leaving the depths, I'm assuming. We're going to carry this around for what could possibly be days of travel in the dark. Who knows how long we'll be down here? Do you, you see an immediate everything. Ex- Do you see an immediate exit? No. There's those holes. And we have not explored everything. There's two more paths near the lake that we haven't gone down. Oh, it's fine. We'll give it to the dragon turtle. That could go really well. Or horribly, but maybe really well. <laughs> Probably bad. It would be like, ooh, egg, dinner, eat it. Yeah, and then its mom will come looking for it, and then they'll have a fight. <laughs> cool. And then we'll see a fight. <laughs> I see no downside. <laughs> Fine, but you're carrying the egg. I said I would. All right. It's not that heavy. We're going to make our way back to the lake then. Okay. <laughs> I'm no longer worried about this room. <laughs> I was a little worried because I thought they were like ropers, but I guess I'm fine. I'll be trying to do cool spinny tricks with my staff. Sorry, was okay. A <laughs> metagame. Roll performance. I was oh, saying out loud, I thought it was ropers. Because they look like slide. 20. Yeah, yeah you're 20. actually like spinning your staff around and <laughs> making... <laughs> It seemed like you know exactly what you're doing. Can I, <laughs> I step in my staff room? Tell me you can I'm, be impressed I'm by fairly impressed. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stat spin my staff. <laughs> what was the thing? Performance. Oh, no. Uh, 12. You're what did you know, right? It's nowhere near what as intricate Performance. and... No, but what did you roll? 20. And <laughs> as... Almost perfect as... I've been using this staff since I was like 10. <laughs> I was going to start flipping her Bowie knives. Oh, okay. oh yeah, I started flipping oh, That's out. a 22. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, this girl is scary. <laughs> you guys just see this like 12-year-old girl just... Throwing up up behind the yeah. back and catching up. <laughs> well, I like Both her. at the same time. Oh my dear God. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> I wish you keep her. I like her. She seems to not use her weapons. Well, you didn't like kids. I, I hate kids. Like... You are a kid and you hate yourself. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> How could it be 17? You're confused. So you guys make it back to the lake, to the edge of the lake, and you see that the dragon turtle has gone back to sleep in around the center of the lake. Left or right? I yell at the dragon turtle. Left. Oh. <laughs> uh, are you are you just yelling or are you yell? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It stays asleep. Oh, thank God. Uh, did you say left? We're going left. Has it been an hour? Uh, yeah, I'd say. Yeah. yeah so we don't have water walking. No, nope. that's a that's a high level spell. <laughs> it was put to good use. I. Uh, Left or right? Left. Left. Let's go left. Right. Left sounds like the way out. We're not looking for the way out. I am. What? Yes, we are. <laughs> Why don't we just go back the way we came? Because left. Because we jumped down an endless pit. We can we totally get there. back out of there. There's no rope and there's nothing to climb. It's and I just want to say you guys don't aren't actually able to see what's... That's what I mean. Yeah, That's why yeah. I was saying left or right. Yeah. And then you just randomly pick left, right? Yeah. Or okay. No, I just pick left. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, I just right. pick left. Left it is, boys. Left. Let's go. So, fuck it. Girls. Girls. Oh, yeah. I'm not used to a girl being around. So respect you, asshole. You're a useless cleric. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's been injured yet. <laughs> so, this passageway goes downwards and downwards and downwards and downwards and downwards. Decent slope, and it start, you notice it starts to get colder and colder and colder and colder. And after about 20 minutes of walking downwards, you start to hear noises. It sounds like the noises of uh, demonic speech. Um, or um, uh, infernal speech, I guess. Ah, so what does it say? Uh, it's too many voices that you can't actually, you're not able to actually understand. I will go and I will focus on those voices. Okay. Stealth check out. Stealth check? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh! And um, listen. Lazarus will cast Pass on the Trace. Well. Okay. 21. So plus 10 to all your I'm stuff. Plus 10? So, 
18 plus 7 uh, is what? 25 plus 10. 35. <laughs> Stealth is my, one of my best. Thing. Stealth and history. <laughs> and arcana and acrobatics. Seven. I'll just like pull out my hood and stick to the dark shadows. Okay. What did you get? Seven. So, so seventeen. seventeen. Oh, so seven. Okay. Fuck. Three. Three hours. No, if you don't want to do this, Gage, just yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, Are we boring you? I will take over. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, as you stealth through this passageway, you see that it actually comes to a uh, small town. And as you look around, you see that it's a town of demon folk. You do see a few tieflings here, but you also see a bunch of, uh, like, shadow demons and stuff like that. Oh my. Perhaps Shoot we em. should keep to ourselves. Let's kill them all. I'm no, kidding. It's a joke. Hold oh. on. <laughs> Is this where you're from, pal, or? No. I just saw some tieflings, so I'm not sure. Just, ch- just double checking. No, I'm just trying to be helpful. I should not know where I'm from. <laughs> You're from Stillspeak. Huh? Oh, <laughs> uh, never mind then. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's keep to ourselves. I'd rather not get, like, dealing with this shit. Like, last demon town we were at, they apparently were not friends of, like, non-demon thingies, so I'd rather we don't get killed. So you're saying you don't want to deal with demons? Uh, deal with demons? <laughs> Last time we actually like Whoa. had like a cool moment when we said that Tony Rind is the joke, so it means nothing to me. <laughs> yeah. It means nothing to me. Tony Rind's a lot of stuff. Yeah. I wish he would just like quit. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, and this is where the podcast ends. <laughs> uh, so as you look around this town from your view, just at the edge in the shadows, you see that there are quite a few buildings, and that. You see that there are two large crevices that span the entire town. Crevasse. <laughs> There's one crevasse <laughs> that's on the north side, spanning from uh, northeast to the west end, and one one spanning from the east side to the southwest end. So this is a map of the city you see. So could we use those to kind of sneak through? Where are we now? Uh, you have entered from right here. Okay. What am I doing so exactly? Can, yeah, every once in a while you see way. that bats or methods start to actually fly out from the crevices. Uh, well, we're trying to find those, uh, the Avranchos, the people of Avranches. Oh, well. Maybe these are them. It's, maybe these are them. Maybe, hey, we saw the guys <laughs> who dead. <laughs> You're right. All these demons are the people from Avronches. Avronches was actually inhabited by demons. No, no, no. There were people before. There were Avronches people. Now they're just dead. See what I mean? Oh. We found them. They're yeah. just dead now. Sounds like a really good excuse of quitting. No. Nope. That trying to come up with That them. sounds like the answer. <laughs> Listen, we're, but we're also not just looking for them. We're also looking for the exit. Remember, the last depth we were in had a stone that allowed us to teleport out. If we find the leftmost path, we will find our way out. I think. Oh, is that true? If you keep your hand on the left yeah. wall, eventually you'll go through <laughs> everything. Wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> left it is. <laughs> I'll head down the left, left path. So will I. Okay. Uh, so, there's a main path, which is like this path here, and then you can also, like, you would be able to stealth. And go behind all the buildings and stuff. Could tell blend in? Would anybody look at her twice? Uh, pro- you probably could. Are yeah. you flipping your Bowie knives as you're like, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, like well, behind no, the I'm, back? Like, yeah, I'm you know. just thinking I could like stand guard and like wait for an opening and then gesture for you guys to keep going. Like maybe okay. give advantage on stealth or something. But oh, yeah. We've okay. already got the past without trace. We can probably. Yeah. Can I just keep my thirty-five for the, the rest of the night? Or... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so which which way are you going? You're going yeah, left. Yeah, yeah. So you just agreed we're all going left. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So are you like sticking to the wall or like going on the actual path? I'm gonna cut through these alleyways and these backways. Okay. 
behind buildings I think and stuff. I would I'll have... lead the way, but and like gesture for if it's clear or not. Okay, yeah, because like these are these are alleyways, right? Control. Uh, these are pretty much just like just space between buildings. So Tao just goes on the main road and then like catches us as we go through, to, like points and like says it's okay to keep going as we look through the alleys. Yeah, That'd I will go through this part on the other side of her. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go right. <laughs> are you trying to be difficult or? Yeah, it's Bye. What I do. <laughs> so if you are going left, apart from this path, you will have to find a way to actually get over the her, her boss, just because it's about ten feet wide. Actually, like twenty feet wide. Well, no, I'll go like through the path and then I'll divert. Yeah, I'll get okay. around the crevasse. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll signal when nobody's looking at okay. that spot. Yeah, uh, you first walk to the path and are just looking out, and no one's really paying you too much mind because there are a few other tea planes and stuff like that in in the town. So no one really pays you too much bother or anything like that, and eventually the path does clear up at one point, and you're able to signal to your adventurers that it's clear. Excellent. I scurry. How uh, you guys are able... Okay, so is everyone... Again, which way is everyone going? I'm going left. You're going left, okay. Uh, I'm going to go through the buildings on the opposite side okay. to meet up. Left. Left. Really want to go. Okay. <laughs> uh, so you're able to go through this path, and at some, you're able to cross the bridge that's over the crevasse, and every once in a while some bats do come out of that crevasse. And and uh, as you first walk towards here, you do see that there's a large statue, almost trying to in, in the very center of the town. Uh, you can roll a perception check. You want to check it out? I do want to check it out. Eighteen. I guess I'll also check it out. I see nothing. I roll a two. Okay, so yeah, you don't see anything. The two of you, you're able to get a bit closer because you blend in. And both the both of you are able to see that it's a shrine that looks like it's dedicated to the demigorgon. Demigorgon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stranger Things! <laughs> oh, Stranger Things! I'm pretty sure demigorgons were a thing before Stranger Things. Oh yeah, and you see a couple tea flames and one demon who are kind of just at the shrine. Just looking at it, or doing their own thing at the shrine. That's a nice shrine. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that shrine, Gary? That's a nice fucking shrine. <laughs> I love that shrine. So you guys, after that, are able to cross the bridge and are able to get to the kind of southeast end of the town. And then you do notice that some people are, are coming around. Around um, that bend. It's all gesture for them to hide. I scurry around the nearest building. Keep your hands down. Yeah, I'll go keep my head down. And I'll lean up against a building or something and just look at the floor. Pretend to smoke a cigarette. Man, I wish I had a (laughs) cell phone to stare at. (laughs) (laughs) Just answering this non fake text. So everyone just roll stuff. I keep my 35. It's kind of to blend in. Yeah. 22, 32. 13. Natural one. Oh my god. I'm going to keep my staff pointed on these tiefling people. Okay. I'll pull up both my daggers. We still have passed without trace, though, right? Yeah. So he has 20, but... Yeah. So you're, you're easily able to just act like this is your town. Yeah. And you scurry behind a building and are unseen. Theron, you... You're trying to hide, right? Yeah. So but I'm assuming mind. you would have tried to go here, because that's where you were planning on going before. Yeah. Uh, you notice that one of the buildings, there's a window on the back, and there's someone looking at you through it. And it looks, it's a uh, shadow demon. What'd you roll, Karen? It's a shadow demon? I rolled 13. Uh, yeah, is, uh, I don't know if they can be charmed, shadow demons. I don't think they can. I don't know. Let's just, just maybe they won't do anything to us. Maybe, maybe we're being cautious for no reason. Just, they'll be fine. Just keep walking. Just pretend you belong there. You should be there. You You're wearing, like, a, creepy you're wearing mask. a creepy mask. You know it. <laughs> and then you walk. <laughs> That's a good point. Um, start peeing. 
I don't know anything. Act naturally. I uh, I close the window and keep walking. <laughs> 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 She goes at you and laughs. Make sure that they look at you for as long as you can before you leave. Just like, <laughs> click. It's yeah, just a nice gradual shut, and then I walk away. <laughs> They're just t- stunned by this behavior. <laughs> they don't know what to do, so they don't actually do anything. <laughs> oh, that's fair. I I also would do. That's exactly what I would do. Yeah, I wouldn't know what to do about that either. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay. Close one. Whew. <laughs> and then, Ryan, so you're trying to run behind a building? Yeah, I was following okay. buildings. <laughs> so you ran probably around like a building here, and you see, and there is, there are... It's good thing I'm the only one in this party who can do damage. Haha, <laughs> you bitch, you're not the only one. Dude, I do insane damage. <laughs> Take that back. You see two shadow demons. Grand. Find them. Uh, just talking to each other, and then they see you. And they start to approach you. Oh, God. Oh, bad. Just close the, the window and walk away. Would I notice that he's missing? No, yeah. probably not. Uh, I was following, I was following you. Oh, were so. you following me? Yeah. Fuck's sake, trying to get me caught? Yeah. <laughs> well, sorry. Told you, I'm not stealthy. You're able to see them come up to him, and they say something in Abyssal. Or not a pistol, uh, Infernal. Infernal. I think about helping him, and then I remember he's been kind of mean to me, like, ever since we got in the depths, so I just take him on, I'm like, maybe he'll be fine, and yeah. I'm not gonna risk getting uh, in trouble. I cast tongues on myself. It's gross. <laughs> <laughs> the creature you touch. <laughs> yeah. So you have to touch him first. <laughs> you gotta lick on him. On myself. You gotta lick yourself. Yeah. Creature you touch, the ability to understand any spoken language it hears. Yeah. Oh, so you're gonna give him the ability to understand? You have to touch him. Me, I'm casting it on myself so I can understand oh. what they're saying. Yeah. Oh, that's sick. Cool. Uh, they're saying some things on lines of, ah ha ha, what we have here? <laughs> Lots of bunch of We have some new meat. Gross. <laughs> I love that. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Do, I, do I see him being spotted? Uh, roll a perception check. Okay. Uh, well, yep. I mean, I've I, got this. I don't know what Hover. they're. I don't know what they're saying, so I'm not gonna inter- intervene. Fourteen. Okay. okay. I can also. I'd say you see where he went, and then he disappeared, and then a few moments later, you see two demons right there. Ooh, going down the same They're path. walking that yep. way. Okay. I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna follow behind them. Okay. Get you nice. guys have no faith in your cleric. We're okay, we haven't done anything yet. I just told you I'm not doing anything. You're on your own. Yeah, Aww. staff at the ready. I just, do okay. I'm like getting this like electrostatic stuff going on the end of it. Swirly, swirly, magical <laughs> swirlies. <laughs> <laughs> and then one says to the we have a new fun plan for today. This will be a lot of fun. Torture. <laughs> oh, so they're obviously evil. Great. Bad boys. Those right. demons are. <laughs> bad boys, yeah. bad boys. What, what you gonna, gonna do? <laughs> what you gonna do when we come for you? Okay. And one of them is gonna try to grab you. Okay, well, I'm backing away. I'm out of arm's reach. Okay. Uh, they're, they're going after you. Can I... Am I getting in at this point? Do a sway. <laughs> yeah. Pardon? Can I do an attack? I'll allow it because they're not looking at you. Uh, I want to do an attack too. <laughs> okay, so which way are you running? Um, do I know where the rest of them are? Do you know around where Blaze is? Okay, I'm gonna run for Blaze. Okay. Thirty-two stealth. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled thirty-two stealth. <laughs> don't give me a ball, motherfucker. <laughs> and you can get a sneak attack. Uh, I don't get sneak attack. I run a rogue. You, you don't see Blaze himself. You see that there's a hidden, like a more shadowy area behind one of the houses. So that's where you're assuming he probably hit. I'm a meme of crown for this. Flat against the fucker wall. And you guys have now approached where he is and are just around the corner from the demons. Mm-hmm. With two daggers, do you get two it takes attacks? Your attack, attack action and your bonus action. Yep. Okay. I know because I, I use them. <laughs> um, I fucking love it. 
Are they within 30, these two demons, are they within 30 feet of each other? Yeah. I'm going to cast Hypnotic Pattern um, in that 30 foot uh, cube. That's the uh, So they have to make uh, wisdom saving throws. Okay. They got to beat a, a 14. Failed. You're about halfway. Oof. But one failed. Okay. Uh, Sad creature is now charmed. Um, and the creature is incapacitated and has a speed of zero. Does it say in what way it's incapacitated? It's not restrained or anything? Just incapacitated? It just says incapacitated, okay. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, it has a speed of zero, can't go anywhere. I had it covered. Kevin! What's wrong, Kevin? Kevin! Another one. Why aren't you? Come on, Kevin! Kevin! Okay, let's get it. Like what are you doing, Kevin? Kevin! Kevin. When it's like He's distracted. I'm gonna hit him with my hand. Okay, I'll have everyone roll initiative. Yeah! You, you can still have a surprise round. Okay. Are these demons, like, regular height? Okay. Yep. Should we pause and have a bite treat? Okay. So, uh, everyone except for Duncan will have a round of surprise, because the other the demons haven't seen you all. And either Blaze or Farron can go first. Both you got a nat 20 on your uh, initiative. You first. I'll go first. Okay. Um, so where's everyone now and to where I am? Uh, so they're just, uh, the two demons and Ryan are just behind a building, which you're just about to see around the corner of. Okay. And Ryan has this large egg in his arms. Uh, so the two... Two shadow demons are in front of me. How far away? Uh, they'd probably be around 30, 25 feet away. 30, 25 feet, that's perfect. Okay. Where are they within, within um, five feet of each other? Yeah, I'd say so. Oh, like crazy. Uh, and one of them... Oh, no, you <clears throat> just did your round of surprise, actually, because you yeah. caused your hypnotic. the hypnotic pattern. Mm-hmm. Oh, where's that? Dude? So that would be your round of surprise. Oh, say. that's stupid. Okay. What's hypnotic pattern? Did I miss that? I think. I yeah, I that. think you were grabbing the pizza. Yeah, anyway. Okay. What's hypnotic pattern? Oh, uh, I have one of them charmed right now, and they have a speed of zero, and uh, they're incapacitated. All of them? No, just that one. The other one succeeded on their save. Okay. Then for my surprise round, I'm gonna hit the one. I wouldn't know which one has succeeded, would I? So I'm gonna. Well, you'd see that one has stopped yeah. moving. One's pretty much like rigid. Can't yeah. go anywhere. Oh, then I'll and the, one the other one is saying, Kevin, Kevin, why did he stop? Kevin, come on, Kevin, let's get this guy. I'm going to step out of the shadows and be like, Kevin's dead. I'm going to throw my <laughs> knives out. <laughs> yeah. What a demon name. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. Kevin. You can't understand what they're saying. Do I have, uh, I don't have advantage. No. 23. Yeah, it hits. And 26. Yeah. yeah, both hit. Sick. That's for the first one is five plus four is nine. And for the second one, hell yeah, is eight plus four is twelve. So nine plus twelve. Twelve. Twenty one. Okay. Sure. And then I don't get I'm not in range for my extra attack. This is the non incapacitated one? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And that's my surprise round. But my daggers are gone, which makes me sad. But yeah, I'm like Kevin's dead. <laughs> Okay, so uh, you said you threw both daggers. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I just aim for either his shoulders. Okay, yeah. So you throw one, and it gets right on his shoulder, and he start. It kind of moves him back a little bit, or puts his shoulder back, and then you throw the other, and it gets the other shoulder and knocks that one back as well. And next, it is Lazarus. Uh, so he would probably just. Fire an arrow, I'd say, probably right. Tripped down by your feet there, just thing. Did it fall? Yeah. <sighs> You're right about it. I would assume so. I would assume so as well. I mean, shoot. He has this to attack. Yeah, but it's only a surprise attack. Oh, yeah. Uh. I remember. It's gonna Hunter's Mark the one. Yeah, he would do that. So, what does that give him again? Where is it? Ready for bonus action, concentration, deal on an extra 1d6, and then he'll shoot the dude with his bow and arrow. Okay. 
That's the same money hunters mark. Uh, 19 plus... Longbow is plus 6, so 25? Yeah, that hits. Okay, so that's 1... 5 total plus 3 piercing is 8 plus his dex. That's 11. 11, 11. damage. Okay. He also says, Kevin's dead. <laughs> and he shoots him with his bow. So after you threw the two daggers in each of his shoulders, uh, Lazarus just points his bow straight at, his, at the demon's chest and fires it straight in the middle of his chest, so in between where the his daggers are. Right, right between his pecs. This guy has pecs too. <laughs> nice. Uh, and then next will be Ryan. Cool. Actually, no, that's a little surprise round, sorry. Shoot. So, Tal. I'm gonna run up and do two good old stabs. Buck him up, little girl. <laughs> As you count. Wanna go uh, Lovecraft's bow? No. Okay. You got a 20. You got a 19. 19? Okay. He'll so just go next. Right. And do a leg stab and see if they can bring him down, and then stab okay. higher. Take out the knee and then get them. Yes. I love it. Uh, 21 to hit. That hit first. <laughs> That's only three <laughs> damage, though. You better look cool. <laughs> it's plus her dex, too, though. I roll a one for damage. So, yeah, that's, that's just three. Isn't okay, that three yeah, damage. dex is plus two. Yeah. Okay. And then it was a nine to hit, so I only got the one stab in. Okay. Okay, next will be Lovecraft. Okay, he's gonna run up and just like. Uh, no, he really just has bite, yeah. So he's gonna lunge up and bite that dude that everyone's been hitting. They're defending me. So. Um, <laughs> would you have advantage because of pack tactics? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fowley's with the five feet. Okay, cool. Okay, so we'll take the five <laughs> plus four, nine. This is. Goes to pounce right on this demon, but. Had just gone down a little bit because you had just stabbed it in the leg. So it bent, bent down at that exact moment and the crap was all like stuck it. And then next is Ailrindal. He didn't leave his character sheet. Should we just yeah. pretend he's not here? Uh, That's pretend he's not here. Yeah, yeah, we can pretend he's not here. Uh, and then we get into the actual initiative. So first is either Blaze or Fair. You go first. Oh man, okay. Um, oh wait, did you cast a spell with hidden lock pattern? Nah. Yeah, you roll oh yeah. Okay. Maybe. Fine. It's a fourteen. Uh, use it. <laughs> you have to get a twenty. You have to roll one. Have to roll one. Yeah. For that an effect. All right, I'm going to. Uh... Fuck. What can I do? Cast a spell. Um... <laughs> cast a spell. Does it work? With... I was gonna cast a spell, but now people are too close <laughs> and they'll get hurt. Does he have to do that with cantrips, too? <clears throat> nope. Not with cantrips, no. Alright, then Firebolt, which is a cantrip. Okay. <laughs> Who's he? Alright. <laughs> Firebolt is the one that's not charmed. It's not. This guy's getting fucked up. He just got four times shot with an arrow. <laughs> that's 16. And now set on fire. That hits. Yes, a 2d10. That's nine <laughs> fire right. damage. Okay. So we throw this bolt of pure fire and flame at this demon, and it hits him right on his wing. And the wing catches fire a little bit, but then he flaps it and it quickly goes out. Okay. Uh, unless there's something else, next will be Blaze. Okay, I'm going to run. They're within 45 feet, right? Can I make it? Okay, I'm going to run. I'm going to jump in the air. I'm going to straight up ninja kick him in the face. Yeah. So that's an unarmed strike. Oh, fuck. Uh, four plus seven. It's eleven. Misses. Okay, then I'll use my bonus action to once I like land, I'm gonna elbow him in the face. Thirteen plus twenty. Very twenty. Okay, perfect. So D six. So plus my dex is eight damage. And then I'll use my extra attack to. So what was your? Was that another unarmed un, uh, unarmed attack? Yeah. Okay. I just went to kick him, and then I just elbowed him in the face. Okay. And for my extra attack, I will claw him down the face. Okay. 24. Yeah, it hits. Okay, sick. No, 25. Is 9 damage. 9? Okay. Yes. 
and then I'll spend a key point, and I'll do flurry blows, do two more unarmed strikes. Using a key point doesn't do a bonus action or anything. No, it just okay. cost me. Okay. I just have a limited amount. I'm out now after this. Oh my goodness. Uh, I think I hit with one, because one is five plus seven is 12. Yeah, that misses. And then 18. Yeah, that hits. Okay. Uh, seven damage. Seven damage. Fuck. Is he alive? Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> so, you go to do a jump leaping kick to his face, and it was just the moment after Baron had just uh, cast Fireball on, on him. So, his fan was bending his wings, and while he was doing that, he was bending down to try to get more air to stop the fire. Actually, that's keep... not how it works. Well, kind of. It kind of works like that. Not really. I don't know. I don't care right now. Whatever. Uh, Maybe you got hit so... in the face with fire and, like, stumbled backwards and I ran. And yeah, I sure. Like and you, like, try to kick and just went right past him. You two guys have ruined my first two guys. <laughs> <laughs> and then, a little bit annoyed that you missed, you go to your album, you album right in the face. And then, nice. after that, you... Follow up with another punch and then a kick or another punch or whatever you claws, want. Claws, claws, claws That's yeah. Fucking scraping that bitch. And he is dr- losing a lot of blood now, which is all black in color. Nice. I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> uh, next is Lazarus. Lazarus is going to shoot him with his bow. 19 plus 7 is yes. 6, I mean, so 25. So that's a d8 plus a d6 because of Hunter's Mark. Plus 1 plus 5 plus Dex, 6, 9 damage. Plus 3 because of his piercing. It's a plus 3 longbow. So what is that? 9 plus 3? 12. 12. 12 damage? The plus 3 is just from his uh, Dex. Oh, did he? Oh, he did that? Okay, yeah. never mind. Never mind. So 9. And then he has an extra attack, so he'll shoot him again. Uh, 9 plus 6 is 15. Yeah, that hits. Deals 8, 9, 10, 11 damage. So, uh, yeah. he fires this one bolt pretty much exactly just an inch away from the last one he fired. Goes straight into him, like, oh, really deep. And then he, des- he fires the second one just on the op- other side. Goes again super deep, almost all the way through him, and the demon, uh, his wings start to flap less and less and move less and less, and then you see his eyes roll back, and he just collapses dead. Yes. And you hear his last words, Avenge me, Kevin. Sorry, Kevin's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Probably won't. <laughs> Yeah, that was one round, you guys. <laughs> Not even. And then it is Lovecraft. Lovecraft? Yeah. For the one that's incapacitated. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, How long is he incapacitated for? Oh, it's done now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's only one round? Okay. No, it's up to one minute, but it's concentration. Um, and I cast a uh, firebolt. Oh, okay. That's a cantrip. Yeah. Doesn't it still break it though? Only if it's another concentration spell. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, never mind then. It's still going okay. for one minute. Okay. <laughs> well, wait, Lovecraft rolled a 19, so wouldn't he be like, just after me? Uh, so you and Baron both got mad 20s. Oh, uh, last. The Nazars had Sorry, a I didn't realize 22 we in total. I didn't realize we were doing it. That's my bad. My bad. Okay, yeah, I rolled a 9 plus 4, so. You do it. 13 hit. Uh, that hits just barely. Oh, fuck yeah. Easy money. Oh, I forgot he had advantage anyway. If we attack him, is he no longer incapacitated? Yeah, oh, you attack him then. Well, um, actually. Plus two. Uh, no, yeah. I mean, if I attack him, it would be, because it's concentration on my end, so I still keep it up. But if you guys are attacking him, Yikes. the charm would probably end, but he'd still be incapacitated. That was a one. It's a speed of zero. Five <laughs> plus two, so seven damage. Seven, yeah. If it's a creature, it must have seen a DC 11 strength saving throw. It would be not prone. Is it a creature? No, he, he is not. What is he? A demon. Or a fiend. What a useless ability. Yeah, it'll come in handy if you're fighting, like, <laughs> normal animals. Like a bear. <laughs> like a we're gonna go animal. hunting. Like a drag turtle. Uh, next is Ryan. Cool. Um, I Heat got metal. the egg. 
Like just cracks it, it on the floor. Or do you well, like put it down? Is it like down? real thick? Or do I think it's, it's a hard kind of egg? I mean, it's like a foot. Yeah, like it is hard. I wouldn't say it's it not super thick. But I mean, he's uh, also super uh, short, so it's not a long drop. <laughs> okay, I'll just put it down like normal. Okay. And then take out my fucking hammer and use my bonus action to cast Searing Smite on the hammer and hit him with it. Yeah, it's a bonus action. Bold. Bold move. Let's see if it pays off. Probably not. Oh, actually, uh, dirty 20 to hit. It hits. Cool. Fuck, what is that? Uh, 1d10 plus 1d6. Okay, it has to make a con save. You got an add one. Okay, well, he did not succeed. Um, Burst into flames. And, oh, wait, no, wait. He has to do that at the start of each of his turns. Okay. So if he takes damage, the spell ends. And he the, damage. Uh, the hypnotic pattern. Yeah. Okay. He takes yeah, so he's, he takes yeah. your extra yeah. 1d6 yeah. now, and then he's in and flames, then... and he has to make constitution saving throw yeah. at the beginning of each of his turns until he makes it. Otherwise, he remains yeah. on fire and keeps taking successive oh, okay. 1d6 by yeah. damage. And that's uh, fucking garbage. Five damage. That's pretty high, man. And this is so, like magical damage. Yeah. Okay. Well, two is magical. Two is my warhammer, which isn't a magical weapon. It's radiant. But, but it was with searing smite. Searing smite. That so, doesn't affect the weapon, though. No. No. No, your weapon well, flares with a white hot intensity and it deals yeah. an extra 1d6 fire damage. Yeah. It doesn't say anything about making it magical. Okay. okay. So, how much damage does that have Sorry. Five. Five. Is there any dumps? Right? No. Okay. Uh, next is the demon. He's on fire. Uh, so. Yes, oh, yeah, concert. makes it concert. Two. Nice. Take 1d6. Oh, yeah. I'll roll for that. One. Okay. I've been rolling like But it is all fire damage. Uh, and does, can he do a save to get out of the hypnotic pattern? If he takes damage, he's already out of it. Okay, but is, so he's not incapacitated anymore? No, it's not. Okay. Yeah. It was smart though, let us gang up on that one. Mm -hmm. So it's like us versus one dude. That I worked know. really good. <laughs> I come up with good ideas sometimes. It's all right, I guess. 17 years of experience. Cheaters, really? <laughs> 21 years. No, no. For, no, his oh. character. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For him. Yeah, Seb's yeah. actually 33. <laughs> yeah. He just started coming, and we were too scared to tell him he can't come. <laughs> yeah. He's an adult. Not that I've been playing since, uh, like, 2014. Or something. He'll attack Ryan. Bring it. It's not like he'll hit me. He rolled a 15. Oh, does not hit. What's your armor class? 18. Fuck, that's a lie. So he goes to claw claw at you, and uh, the moment he tries a claw, the Syrian smite just starts to burn him, uh -huh. and that makes it more difficult, and he's not expecting that really, and he just misses. Fucking bitch. Personally, if I was on fire, I would expect to be burned. Uh, so next, it is Tal. Oh, that's so, I know Warriors somebody named Tal. Going so. to cast Scorching Ray. More fire! So that's, yeah, that's... I roll for each uh, ray. And so. that's a spell, not a cantrip, right? Yes. Okay, can you so roll a wild magic? Can, can I do the attack first? Yes. Yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> that's a 16 to hit? Yeah, it is. And that's a 1, so that's not going to hit. Right. And then that's a 22 to hit. Okay. And then it's 2d6 for both of the ones that hit. So 9, 15 damage. Nice. It's nothing compared to my five. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a nine for my wild okay, magic roll. What happens if you roll that and your age increases to where you're older than him now? <laughs> That'd be fucked up. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. That'd weird me out. Yeah, let me tell you, that's something. Does it change your mental age, too? No. No, no just physical appearance. So you uh, send out these... Well, uh, so I'm assuming you, you're probably using your dot cast and focus for this, right? Yes. Yeah, so you see that this tiefling girl has a wand out. It's, most, it's pretty much just a stick, but she has it pointed. She goes like, poof, poof, 
<laughs> the first, the first, uh, one hits immediately. The second goes a little bit off because she's not used to anything actually coming out of this wand. And then she gets back on track and aims again and hits the third one. So two scorched rays just hit the demon one and then the other. One in the wind and then one straight in the body. And he takes that fire damage. And this fire kind of spreads throughout his body and then just goes out. Rad. Uh, so we are back up on the top of the order so far. Ooh. Alright. Um, yeah. Fuck it. I will uh, just fire both them again. Okay. <clears throat> 17 plus 6. That yeah, hits. That hits, yeah. That's uh, three fire damage in total. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I just like slam my staff into the ground and just like let a lot of fire just okay. come out the top of it. So after seeing this tiefling girl send out three rays of scorching hot fire, <laughs> you decide you're going to show her how it's really done, how to actually send out fire on an enemy. And you wave, you point your staff at at the demon, and <laughs> it kind of just sizzles out, oh, fuck. Uh, uh, but still hits the demon. <laughs> A couple of sparks. Uh, <laughs> still <next>. calibrating. <laughs> Tal goes, come on, I've been at this for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I'm uh, still learning how this thing works. So next would be Blaze... Then Lazarus, then Lovecraft. But since he's taking phone call, we'll go down to your right. Okay. Oh, fuck yeah. I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt. Ooh. That's another, That's the radiant damage one, right? Yeah. Okay. 15. Hey, nice. Okay. That's uh, 46. 46? 46. Yeah, where is he? 7. 13 damage. 13? Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Ooh, there. So you harness this radiant energy and just throw it right at the steaming. And this light just comes out from you and hits him square in the forehead. And he is blown back about five feet from this. Holy shit. And this radiant energy is just spreads throughout his body as it hits. And he cries out it, because of how much pain he is in because of this. But he is still alive. So, Blaze. We will ease yourself. Oh, right. Right. yes. Yeah. Perfect. We're going to have to run out of here pretty quick. <laughs> I'm going to snatch up the two daggers from the dead body. And as I'm pulling them up, I'm going to just immediately stab them into the other dude's body. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Uh, 12 to hit. This is 22 to hit. Yes. Okay. 6 plus 3 is 5 plus 4 is 9 damage. 9 damage. Okay, cool. And then I'll use extra attack to yank out the dagger that I did stab him with and immediately stab him again. <laughs> 19 plus 7. Yes. So 5 plus 3 is 8 plus 4 is 12 damage. 12 damage? I finally rolled good on my D6. So how do you <laughs> see this? Oh, well, he's dead? Oh, Hell yeah. So I pull it out, and I'm like, oh, I missed. And I stab him again, and, I, and again, and again. I just start fucking stabbing him repeatedly in the face <laughs> until he dies. And then I like, let his body fall to the ground. And I, I'm like, and then as I'm done, I wipe the blade off, and I start counting on my fingers. One, two, three. This guy. I've killed like six people since I got here. This is fucking awesome. <laughs> Things are really going my way lately. You're just stealing so proud place. of you. <laughs> Thank you. So now you're <laughs> behind this building with two shadow demon bodies. Should we just hide them? Did we draw attention? No. You should set them on fire. You handle it. Throw them in the square. Thing. How Good close thing. are we to the... Is that what you want to do? The uh, chasm. Because that'll get away. No, we're like right here now. Yeah, you're about right here. The chasm is here. We're here. There's a bunch of like demons all around, right? All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's just 
hide behind a building and get the fuck out of here. Yeah, they find it later. Area. Oh no, who murdered these people? They won't know. We're never coming back. Well, we I could come back this way. Though. No, nope. I will probably just quickly burn them to ash and then we just. Yeah, but we don't need to make a bunch of light. Or we could just drag them to the chasm and drop them in there, and pff, they're gone. Take them. Maybe just take them down the path until we find a better spot for them. Let's cut just their faces off them. and wear them. <laughs> 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 It's not a half bad idea. <laughs> I say we just leave them here behind a building in the dark, in the shadows, where no one will see for several hours. We we'll have plenty of time to get in and out. Fair enough. Pull out a dagger. <laughs> you're not taking the faces. <laughs> <laughs> see how quickly I can cut off a face. <laughs> no, stop it. You're not taking the face. I just, it's science. <laughs> for one, it will take several minutes for you to successfully carve a face. Not exactly. I, am, I have a bit of skill in this area. What's your, what's your medicine check? Yeah. Your medicine check. <laughs> what's your medicine check? Uh, oh my god. Where's my medicine? Wisdom. Right. That's 18. It's creepy how fast and how well you're doing this. Oh my god. <laughs> see, guys, told you I had this. I'm just going to slap it on. Can I see it? Can I see it in the face? It is. That's actually really so impressive. Easy. Sure. And then I'll just slap it on my brass mask. Oh, right. can I Can I see it, though? though? That's really impressive how you did that. No, oh I... Oh my god, I need to be disguised right now. You only, I can cut off the other one. I take the face off his mask <laughs> and I throw it away. <laughs> Fucking focus. <laughs> we get caught. It's your problem now. <laughs> Where are your wings, body. you idiot? <laughs> Come follow me. And I'm going to run this way towards this. Okay, are you like running behind buildings or on the Yeah, yeah, same as I was before. Okay, I shouldn't have said to run. Sneaking. As we carry on, I'll just quickly go and grab the face and go <laughs> okay. and just slap it on the mask. Okay. That's I disturbing see. on so many levels. I think now we need a face-off pun for this episode. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the group faces off. Yeah, I'll just take like one of the eye holes and I'll just like stretch it over my magnifying okay. glass pieces so it, so it stays there. Tal is a little stupid about that one. Right? He does I am also a little stupid. All the time. <laughs> Uh, so you guys are able to moderate, moderately well sneak behind these houses uh, to around here on the map, which mm-hmm. is right before the and uh, one of the exits from the town. And you are not seen yet. Should go through that exit. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, you said stick left. It's yeah. a left turn. Yeah, yeah always so stick left. left. Always wall. with the left. We're going left. Be go by you. What do we do? Uh, so everything goes smoothly too, because I said so. So this path leads to a small cavern. You don't see anyone in this path. You kind of assume like maybe it's it's not something that the demons use much, and was just here for a long time before that. And it ends up going to a cavern that is completely made of purple quartz. And the room kind of smells oddly like smoke or fire. Quartz? Quartz. Oh, yeah, oh sorry. Quartz. I heard corks. I was like, this is <laughs> a weird room. What the fuck? It's a bunch of wine bottle corks. Yeah. Uh, it's like a fucking can you roll a perception check, please? 13. Does it require hearing or smell? Oof. 7 for me. And then Lovecraft. Natural 20. <laughs> 22. Thank you. I mean, if we... Okay, let me just... So, everyone except for Blaze notice something below the ground. You can see somewhat through the floor, and you notice a giant red eye staring up at you. Uh, and leave. with that eye, you see a long, dead dragon. I just uh, walk over the top of it. It's not moving, it is dead. I walk over it. I don't even notice. And, like, as you're not noticing, then Lovecraft is going to, like, pod the ground and kind of growl at it. I rolled a two, I see nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should we take any of the cords? You probably could. Yeah, I'm a... He's pretty... Breaks break him off with my hammer and takes him with me. Okay. I will... Can I count for cords, sir? Yep. Just check up cords. I'm going to take out one of my regular steel daggers and just start stabbing at the wall to try and get like pieces of cords. Okay. How hard would it be to get to like the dragon scales? Uh, it 
the dragon itself is like probably uh, ten feet down through straight courts. Yeah, yeah, so it'd right. be quite difficult. Um, is it just like a room, or are there passageways leading out? Yeah, or? there's a passageway that's to your right that uh, you see is like a tunnel again. I'm gonna scout it out. Uh, so this one goes moderately straight, and then it opens up into a large chamber. And this large chamber, you see, there's a small path, or a small bridge that's actually running through it. Right here. And then on both sides, and below you, it is just an abyss. Okay. Jump. I just walk across. I mean, I'm not second-guessing myself here, guys. It'll be fine. And I just, like, start going, like, power walking. Okay. Yeah, I'll pat Ryan on the back. I'm gonna look around as I go. Keep away. walking forward. <laughs> as you guys are going across the bridge, a swarm of bats just uh, flies up from below you. So casting firebolts at them. <laughs> okay. Oh, <yeah. laughs> I try not to panic and just, just keep panic. going. Okay. I want to make it all the way to the other side of the bridge. Yeah, uh, you make it to the other side of the bridge. How wide? Is the and you notice that it, this chamber is very echoey. Like every movement you do just echoes oh. off. Of the walls. Come here, Lovecraft. Come here. And he'll <laughs> run. Shit. <laughs> He's my, bad, my good boy. I'm getting Gandalf fix the Balrog vibes right here. <laughs> you uh, shut this is where I get left behind. <laughs> <laughs> Fly, you fool. I come back and light. Plummet defeats a Balrog, returns a movie later. <laughs> Epic. Yeah. He just. He returns the next quest as like an upgraded version of himself. <laughs> come back Everything is white. <laughs> I made a deal with an angel. <laughs> uh, then as you leave this room and go to the next passageway, you enter another large um, cavern, and in it you see that there's a lo- moderately large uh, fluorescent blue lake. And there's a rocky path that stays close to the east wall, which is about like 10 feet above the water level. And there are two ridges along the west and southwest section of the lake, each about 15 feet above the water. You also see a rocky island in the south center section of the lake, and it rises about 30 feet up from the water. And you, you think you can see something on this island? You're not sure exactly what, what it is, though. And roll a perception check, everyone, please. Okay, and also, up comes the foldable boat. Oh, natural 20, no big deal. I roll the 19. Does it require hearing or smell? Uh, I guess hearing. Roll the 17 plus 3, so 20. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Nine. Nine. Uh, everyone except for Ryan sees <laughs> something coming, like a small part of something out of the water, and as you look closer at it, you see that it's a head of some sort, and you look closer, it's a ple- you notice that it's just a plesiosaurus. Again? Oh, yeah. say How many of these things are in this fucking place, man? That's the second one we bumped into. And it just seems to be like minding its own business, just swimming around. Okay. Remember, Tal said they were herbivores. I, I thought that <laughs> when you said long-necked one, I assumed the, uh, you know, like Bigfoot. <laughs> Hey. So the Loch Ness monsters are definitely not herbivores. Or real. Yes. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. Based on the, yeah. that dinosaur. Okay. Oh, I guess plesiosauruses are predatory and aggressive. And yeah. like any creature it encounters. Exactly. Creature. Yeah. I guess we're always new as a kid. Did it's you not know that? I wasn't positive about it. No. Is that, that what it does, Gage? <laughs> it <laughs> hasn't noticed... You guys yet, because you haven't made too much noise as you've entered this room. Are we aware what these things do? And ha- they're, uh, they're, they're we fought one before. before. Nature. Yeah. Well, well, you weren't you there. You weren't there, so maybe you don't know. Listen, I don't want to, like, sound cocky here, but I think we'll be fine, because I basically soloed this thing. Well, the guys fought the water elemental. Trust me, it'll be fine. It'll be yeah. fine. I, I feel like Cal would be super excited about seeing a dinosaur. I too. mean, she's excited about seeing the dinosaur, but she's also, like, Maybe we don't want to get in the water yeah. with it. But there uh, could be something on that island, Tal. Really cool. Maybe, maybe it's, it's a rock dragon turtle. Maybe, maybe it's... we should lure it out, though. Lure it over here so we can fight it on the ground. 
we don't need to fight it. We can just try and slip right on by. Yeah, let's let's, let's do that. Let's try and slip on by. That's not really looking at us. Really well. Are you trying like trying to get to the island or just walking through the passage? I don't know. He's being sarcastic. Yeah, I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> what does Blaze want to do? Blaze wants to see what's on that island, man. Okay, well, yeah. let's go to the fucking Curiosity island. killed the cat, and I jump in the boat. Uh, <laughs> uh, I will. Hold on. Cat's got to win and push the boat. Now we'll get in the boat. Okay. Listen, we just have to be very, very quiet. Yeah, I'm going to get in the boat, too. Right. How far is this beast? Uh, it would probably be around 45 feet away. So I'll leave north. Lovecraft on the beach. Where I guess north. North. staying on the beach. North north crazy. West. There's not enough room for all of us in this boat. How many, how many of us can fit? In a foldable boat? Do you have the deep the No, I don't. I can I just, just search it. I'm guessing probably three. Three or four. Three and child. So we leave Lazarus and Aelon down on the coast. On the coast of the dog. The rest of us can go. Do you think it's within your shot to hear this little boat rocking around? Uh, if you're loud about it, it would. Okay. Well, you know can hold up to four, creatures four medium oh, creatures. Oh, yeah, we're okay. good. So I can hold four medium creatures. We can all go. Okay, I'll leave Lovecraft with Lazarus and uh, no. Okay. Yeah, okay. But yeah, I'm going to make my way towards it and be like, okay, everyone just shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm just going to start rowing. So look in the opposite way. At this point, it is, yes. Brian does have Should a nervous roll? tap. Yeah, uh, roll for stealth. Has it been an hour since we did Paso del Trace? I don't think so, because we went just when we got in the town. Let me just go. Yeah, so it wouldn't have been an hour yet. Okay. Uh, 30. 30. 30. Uh, 23. 16. 18. Okay, yeah, you guys are being quiet enough. Slip on by. I'm still going to have my staff, like, swirling with Static okay. energy, swirly, swirly, magical swirls. Pointed right at that beast. You get to the small island and without the faces source turning around and noticing you guys, and you're able to like kind of dock it where the boat is, mm-hmm. and you're able to climb up onto the island. And as you get on, you see that there is a treasure chest on this island, and you also see a few dead bodies around. I'm going to inspect it for traps. Okay. Uh, hmm. So what exactly are you, do, are you doing? I'm going to look all around it at the ground, and then I'm gonna, if there's nothing there, I'll move up to the chest and inspect the chest itself before I touch anything. Okay, so oh God, you don't find any traps around the chest. Pardon? <laughs> Does Tal know what a mimic is? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, because that's what it's screaming to me. But... <laughs> Arm is going to get bitten off. That room we so touch nothing chest on the ground at all. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Arms, then I'll inspect the chest. Okay, how are you doing this? I am going to stare at it intently <laughs> <laughs> okay. to see if there's anything odd about it. You don't know something odd about it. I'm going to. Wow. I'm gonna walk up, scan my hand over the chest, and see if I'm I can gonna detect open it. any. I'm gonna hit it with my hammer. I'm, okay. I'm literally just gonna go out there and be like, "Cool, it looks safe," and I'm gonna open it. Oh my okay. god! No, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> too late. Damn it! It's too late. I've, I've done it. Yeah. So you open this chest and it is a mix. Surprise! Surprise! surprise. Great. Damn it! I really thought there'd be gold in <laughs> this here. This beast is gonna come for us now. Uh, yeah, I'm mix pushovers, man. You're an idiot. They're gonna have a surprise attack on you. I'm gonna get attacked by a dinosaur. I'm taking also damage for like 20 fucking sessions. <laughs> yeah, you guys get mad at me for not healing you guys, but you guys don't take damage ever. That's fair. <laughs> That's so fair. We're just so fucking good. I forgot what the hell Torn does. He's a fighter? Yeah. Mm. It's been a hot minute since I played Torn. Let's Fight keep talking man. about other campaigns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm uh, just going to try to bite you. Oh, it is. I'd like fuck. to see him fucking try. And I would say I'd have a bandage since you just stuck your hand into yeah, it. Yeah, well, he needs yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> He's not going to hit me. Christ. He's not going to hit me. What'd you roll? Uh, 14. Missed. My AC is 16. I told oh. you I'm so good, man. So high. <laughs> I'm going to hit you. So you open this chest up, and it's just it's just teeth. And, like, as you open it up, you're, you're ready to grab whatever's in it. So you put your arm in it, and then it just chomps down, and you're like, oh, fuck. 
I try to like close and shut. <laughs> oh, nothing can be trusted. Uh, does it have handles? And the piece of story I just noticed all of you. Are you yeah. kidding me? Fuck. Let's, let's pick up the mimic and chuck it in the water. Fuck, we're gonna die. The piece of story can't fine. go on land. We'll, we'll be, be fine. fine. We'll chuck it in the no water. It has no legs. It's just four floppy fins. <sighs> it's got Are a mimics made of wood, and they have like meat inside of them. Mimics, mimics can be made out of whatever. <laughs> That's a fun thing to think about. <laughs> yeah. Probably yeah. their chest, that's what I imagine. But they could be like a wall and stuff. I assume it's just like an illusion. Yeah. They take on that tree. Yeah, because they can they're be not they actually made of wood. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they yeah so they're wall. not yeah. actually made of wood. It's like a. a yeah. They're made yeah. of like some kind of flesh. So it's never in real initiative. Another good one. 22. And then Fuck Lovecraft yeah. is. Uh, Lovecraft's a four. But I hate Lovecraft. Oh, he's not even on the island. So never mind. Yeah, oh, thank God! I hate having to wait for him to miss with all of his attacks. <laughs> At least he helps. You know what? So back the fuck off. How much damage has he done? He so helps. Ca- uh, what did you get? Three. Three. Cal. Fourteen. Right? Yeah. Three. Cheapers. Yeah, man. So please, is your first. Fucking love it, bro. Alright. Alright, man. This thing fucking scared the shit out of me, so <laughs> I'm just gonna like instinctively go like Hua! and then just stab it twice. Okay. Uh eighteen? Yeah, it hit. And twenty-six. Hits. Three plus one is four plus four is eight damage. The next one is is nine damage. Okay. And then I will use my extra attack to immediately Stab it again! Uh oh. One plus. Oh, wait, I have to roll the hit. Fucking idiot. Uh, no, I miss. It's like a 11. Yeah, it misses. Okay, and then I'm just gonna use my movement speed to back up out of its okay. range. Yeah, so you dig both daggers into, like, just the top of the chest and then quickly take them out and just, like, jump back. Okay. Uh, next will be Cal. Um. I think he's going to cast um, Witch Bolt. Yo, this call is fucking badass, though. <laughs> <laughs> how how awesome would it be if your, your arcane focus was actually just one of the Bowie knives? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that, because that would be a lot better, especially for, like, accidental magic. Yeah. So if you were, like, about to throw the knife, but then you saw magic coming out of the top, <laughs> so you just point it instead. If I saw magic coming out of daggers but throw, I'd be like, I'd be like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> like fumble with it, be like, what the hell's happening? So, I was thinking about doing firebolt, but that seems excessive. <laughs> Firebolts are never excessive. Fireball uh, would be excessive. But think, not even. No, that's the one that I was thinking of. Oh. <laughs> Especially because I'm, I'm like not, right there. I don't play a lot of spellcasters. Was Fireball like 68 or something? Or yeah, it's something like that. Yeah. Just go ahead. Or 86. 86. 86? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, like, um, what is it? A circumference of like, what, 30 feet? 25, I think. Oh, then I'm Radius. Gonna, I'm even out of range. No, radius. All right, so it's a ranged spell attack. Okay. This is against the mimic. Okay. So that's a 21. Yeah, yeah. they hit cheapers. Jeepers Creepers. She's Where'd you get so fucking good? <laughs> Jeepers Creepers. Where'd you get them peepers? And that's nine lightning damage. Nine? Okay. And then... Oh yeah, on the rest of my turns, I think I don't even have to re-roll that. I think I can just keep zapping it. Keep doing 1d12 okay, every cool. time. Ooh, that's sick. Can you roll a d20 for me? Oh, oh yeah. Please. That's a 20. Okay. Nice. Yes. And that's that's what I've got. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do for this time. Yeah, so you just use your wand and do a flicking switch, and <laughs> lightning just encompasses the mimic. God, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there anything else you want to do with your turn? No. Okay. Not yet. So next will be the mimic. And he will just turn back into a box. Oh, yeah. yeah. You okay? <laughs> uh, angry that it didn't get you, it's going to go after you again and try to bite you. It will fail, don't worry. Dexterous. That's a 13. This is so cute when it tries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So it just kind of like bounces on it on the on its base towards you and tries to like encompass you with its entire mouth, but you're easily able to just dodge out of it. Yeah, I just jump back out of the way and flip it off. <laughs> <laughs> Next is the plesiosaurus. Um, it is going to attack. Can it even reach us? Uh, let's see. Like, it is a long neck, but... Do they have long necks? Yeah, they, they have, like, yeah. 10 feet long necks or whatever. Could they fill up on that? I don't think Plesiosaurus can. Yeah, I, I thought they, they were... Can. I think it's, like, seals. They're not great on land, but they can. Yeah, they can be on land. Yeah, okay, true. I think this is... That's uh, the one you have the really uh, long neck. Uh, it is a large beast. Large beasts are... I thought there was one that said uh, the actual size, but it's a large it. beast. It just its size yeah. is large. I, I'd say it, it would be able to reach just barely. So it's going to go after you, Baron, just because ah. I think you—you might—you're probably not like right in the middle of the break. No, yes. Uh, uh, so it's going to try to bite you. It can try. My request is pretty okay. Got a dirty twenty. Okay. So the plesiosaurus raises up its long neck and just takes a chop on your arm. Mm-hmm. And you'll take 13 piercing damage. Ooh. Doesn't know. Woohoo! The bitch is in for it now. And then it goes to either Ryan or Farron. You go. Oh, okay. Alright, well... That's... That's stupid. Um... I'm going to, oh, okay, after I just tuck a big chomp in my arm, I'm going to take my staff and I'm going to hold it up like a rocket launcher on my shoulder. Nice. And I'm just going to charge up a huge little spark of energy and I'm going to fire off a lightning bolt okay. um, directly in, into the mouth of okay. the beast. So he's got to make a deck save. It's a four. That's a fail. he got to beat a 14. Uh-huh. All right, that's 8d6. What'd you oh. use? Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt is a dope spell. Oh my god. <laughs> 35. <laughs> that was amazing. I saw multiple sixes. There's so <laughs> many sixes. Yeah, 35. Roll any 20 for me, please? Oh, fuck, right. Oh, One, baby. Oh, yeah, we're fine. Double okay. ones. <laughs> Double ones. 11. That means you have to roll twice. <laughs> so, this piece of source just chomped on your arm and you're able to get your arm out and then it like open it in its mouth and in that small amount of time you're able to aim your uh your staff right into the mouth and just go zap <laughs> yeah. and he convulses a lot to do this and he's shaking and his neck is spasming his head is going this way that way that way that way etc back off you and bastard. he takes a that's a hard hit on him Good. You see the fear in his eyes. Nice. A little smoky there, bud. You see his bones like the cartoons. Fucking hair is all spiky. Oh, wait, it's a mimic, doesn't have hair. So, right. Uh, this is the Pisosaurus. Oh, you have the Pisosaurus. Yeah. Nice. Right in the mouth. Yeah. So, fucking eat that, stupid dino. <laughs> Does the mimic have any metal on him? We just, we just talked about how it's not actually we a chest. didn't. And we did. We said Come it's not real. It's an illusion. Conclusion, though. I think we all agree. I would it say it wouldn't have any metal. I know you want to use heat metal. <laughs> <laughs> I demand we look this up. <laughs> Mimics can alter their outward texture to resemble wood, stone, or any other material. But they so aren't that metal. They aren't metal. They just resemble metal. <laughs> Fuck. Fine. You might think it, it is metal. <sighs> what I think it's metal. I don't know. How dumb are you? I... Uh, I have 20 wisdom. Fuck you. You said, how dumb are you? What's your intelligence? 10. <sighs> your character. Does Ryan know anything about mimics? Rule and... Just an intelligence check. 14. <laughs> I, I'd say you would know that... I'd say to do your background in blacksmithing, you would know... It looks like metal, but it, it doesn't ah, look exactly like metal. Cool. Okay. 
vehicle, and it probably flexes when it yeah. moves, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, then I'm just going to get him bolted. <laughs> <laughs> so dejected. Good old trusty guided bolt. It's the most depressing cleric I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Uh, 19. 19? Yeah, it definitely hits. 16 damage. 16? Okay. And just glowing. So, right as this mimic is opening its mouth to start to plan to fight someone, you just send this bolt of pure energy into its mouth and it just illuminates the entire thing. And you see it, uh, you see the energy actually go all through it. And it seems to have taken, it seems to have, to have been a pretty massive hit to it. Nice. Uh, then we're at the top of the order again, so please. Right here. Right, lads. I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to smash up all my daggers again. I'm a one trick pony. Yeah, pretty pretty boring. I picked a fighter class, which means we just do the same thing, but get better at doing the same thing. Uh, 16 plus 7 and 11 plus 7. So 18 and 20 something. Yeah. Both hit. Oh, nice. So the first one is. Oh, they're 3 for both. So 1d6. So 3 plus 1 is 4. Plus 4 is 8 damage. And 3 plus 3 plus 4 is 10. So 18 damage. How do you see this die? Uh, <laughs> dude, I'm absolutely on fire right now. Um, <laughs> you could be. I'm just gonna stab down, like, like on the bottom half of the trunk, yeah. and then like I'm gonna stab, like, reach in, like underneath, and stab the upper half. And I'm just gonna like split it open, and then just like rip it in half, kind of thing. I like, like it. I'm gonna just like jam it, like, till the hinges snap. I like it. That's yeah. how it happens. Fuck yeah! And I'm gonna look for treasure. <laughs> so inside of them. You don't find any treasure. Man, the mix are gay. There's a lot of teeth. <laughs> yeah. And a purple ton. Nice. Gross. You'll love to see it. And the plesiosaurus is alive, right? Yeah. Okay, for my extra attack, I'm gonna fucking whip my dagger at its face. Uh, 20? Yeah, hits. 7 plus 4. It's 11 damage. 11? Okay. Yep. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's all because an extra attack doesn't give me a bonus, so that's all I can do. You're so strong. I just get a lot of attacks, that's all. <laughs> Next is Cal. How is it looking? Uh, it looks pretty badly injured. It just like took a massive shock that uh, made it convulse everywhere. And then just got a dagger in the head. I'll happily do it again. <laughs> Grab the dagger <laughs> before he sinks! I, that's my diamond dagger, I need that back! <laughs> I think... We're going to try out Fireball, because I've been looking forward to that one for a long time. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> a bright streak flashes from your pointer, pointing finger to a point you choose within range, and then blossoms with a low roar into an explosion of flame. Each creature in a 20-foot radius. Am I within 20 feet of it? I probably am. Yeah, you're per- probably pretty close. <laughs> I could maybe not then. Well, you could, it. you could decide to have it where it's Oh, like, I can spend a sorcery point and be careful not to hit him. Yeah, you can also yeah, you have it. Yeah. just aim it like just on the outside so that... I could do that too and save my sorcery yeah. point. So it's going to have to make a dexterity saving throw. This one. Four. So six. Holy crap. It's going to die. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, this is definitely so what I would call overkill. AP6. I don't know how much health this thing has. This node's big. That's 10 damage. 22. He's savage. 33 damage. Wow. So you sent this fireball. I'll also, can you roll a d20 for me, please? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 14. Okay. So you sent this fireball out, uh, probably near the back end of the this piece of source, and it entirely engulfs it. Uh, and Tal's eyes are so wide. <laughs> <laughs> I like to smile think on her face. I just like to think that Death. she doesn't have magic. She thought she did fireball again, and then it just exploded. That is way yeah. more powerful. So this. Fireball engulfs the entire place of source and it just burns in like just 
two seconds of its skin, and you just see the skull just to fall fall down without any skin on it anywhere. It's just dead. Hey! Hey! Yeah! Ben. Yeah! Can you please grab my dagger? Oh, I... Ah! I gotta swim in the water! <laughs> what? Don't I have to swim in the water? Yeah. I thought it was nearly on land. Uh, it was like reaching up with from, its neck. Yeah. Whatever, yeah. You threw it into its head though, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. So like so it was head landed. The head would have fallen yeah, I, thought like guess, yeah. I thought it was like partially on land. I thought it was like going on land when it got to us. It, it was staying in the water, it was just at the edge though. How, this is a small island or something? Yeah. Okay, cool. So yeah, just, as long as it's a small island, I was, I was like, damn, he's got a long neck. <laughs> yeah, can you just grab my dagger, please? <laughs> uh, I guess the sure. head would fall into the... Yeah, no, no. Unless the body drags it in. I I would say the body would have probably dragged it in a little bit, because, like, it was convulsing before already, so it wasn't entirely on land, and it was really sporadic, and... It hadn't bit Baron or anyone after the first bite. So is it in the water? Yeah, I'd say it's in the water. Well, is it deep is in the water? Is everybody else afraid of water? Uh, do I have a moment as, as it's sliding in? Sure. I do? Okay, then I'll grab the deck. Okay. okay. Thank well, you. So you're able to and I'll throw, throw it back it in at the water. you. Free oh. <laughs> so you can catch it. <laughs> I assume you know how to use your dagger. Someone going, Scott, just threw a fucking dagger at me. <laughs> for you to catch it. <laughs> You've never had a knife thrown at you? Roll a deck save, please. <laughs> you got this. Yeah, I'm just like taking no, this thing. I'm but like, I have deflect missiles. Mm-hmm. So I can use my reaction to deflect or catch. So damage to take is 1d10. So 9 plus my dex, which is 4. It's 13 plus my monk level. Just six, so nineteen. It's physically impossible to get nineteen damage with one dagger, so I managed to catch it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Except, <laughs> no, hey, no. maybe don't throw sharp objects at me next time. You never know when you might, you know, kill me. <laughs> hey, you caught it. I guess. Okay, I did this time. Doesn't mean I will next time. I have time. faith in you. I never doubted your skills to catch a dagger. <laughs> no, I just don't think you really thought that. Whatever. No, Thank I you. thought it through. Thank I you. Get the dagger to you. Thank you for retrieving my dagger. I'm welcome. I appreciate it. I just I try to do it. nice things for you. I, you know what? And I, I fucking love you. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> well, you're a day for that. Hold man. on. That's a quick way to get yourself killed. Don't say that. I'm just okay. That's disturbing. I don't know how I <laughs> feel about that. I still like, have the mask on. <laughs> <laughs> so the face. Skin <laughs> chip. <laughs> 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 I can't take you seriously without having a fucking face mask. <laughs> it's to blind. Why are you still wearing it? We're not even in the city anymore. What if we see another one? Then I'd be like, oh, hello, Kevin. I, you have no <laughs> wings. And not every single shadow demon is named Kevin. I'll be Kevin. Then. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's me, Kevin. I have no wings, and everything else about me is not shadow demon except for my face. So yeah, they this got... was Kevin's face. This is the equivalent of blackface. Exactly. This is <laughs> yeah. Kevin's face, right? Look, I got my wings cut off in the brawl I had in the tavern. I have a whole backstory right now. I'm ready I for this. Improv. <laughs> improv. Absolutely. And if they get too spicy, then these, you know. Okay, we're trying them. Whichever I feel. You, you, you are an interesting person, Baron. I always had the situation under control at all times. Sure, buddy. Is there anything on the dead bodies around the mimic? Uh, you find a few rusted swords or rusted shield. Turn nothing, please. And that's where we leave off on oh. this episode of A Deal with Demons. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. And that concludes the whole